Sunday morning, lockdown 5.0. We're still inside. <sighs> All right, let's get this done. We'll go and join Coco Cadence. I oh, know. I thought there wasn't any pace partners. I didn't have uh, Watopia selected by default. I'd rather a default to Watopia. That's where everyone is. Uh, see Cadence. Everything's paired. Let's get it done. 10 minute warm up. Hope everybody is well. Yeah, as I said, lockdown 5.0. We're still inside. Can't go any further than five kilometers from home. What is life all about right now? What it is about is erg mode. If I can get this watch on to get some more heart rate data. We'll be good. Oh, we're still on the shopping bike. Here we go. Up and running. Excellent. We're away. We are away. Apologies for anybody outside of Australia. It's probably either midnight or way too early to catch the stream. But that's what it's like in the land down under. We are opposites. Alrighty, kick a five today. SRAM rival axis and some power meter pedals that are yet to be released. Which have been performing quite well. So collecting all three through this session. Let's drop some ride-ons. Uh, my 5x5s five have been going well for my own workouts and they're a good data collector as well. Started off at 250 a few weeks back. Slowly built up to 3 by Oh, sorry, 5 by 300. It's feeling horrible after a few of those, so I've dropped it back a bit. I'm not training for anything in particular. Just trying to build a decent base for summer, which is still a fair way off, but do the work now. Hopefully enjoy the benefits later. So today's session, I'll start the first session off at, or the first erg off at 275 and I'll go from there. I'll have a look at the heart rate and see how I feel. But again, just about time on the bike indoors whilst we're still in lockdown. Uh, should have a video out tomorrow night, my time. So more work to be done on that today and tomorrow, which will probably take most of the two days. All right, chat. How are we? Good morning, Mason. Hope you're going to jump on and join. No worries. I'll be with Coco for about 10 minutes and then I'll be getting into the erg mode. How far? Don't know. Don't know. The session is around an hour. All up. Uh, but it depends how I'm feeling. What have we got? Half past 10 in the morning. I'll be done by lunchtime. <clears throat> right on. Germany must be late there in Germany. Must be very late in Germany. Gotta do something about that music, don't I? Coco Cadence, well, I still think it's Cara Cadence for the bikes, or C Cadence. Great for uphills and flats. The rolling stuff is, uh, gets a little hard to hang on to. Yes, another dirt shirt today. <laughs> is there, there's no dirt kit in game, is there? No way to drop ride-ons in a group ride if they have the circle disabled. So you can see here I've got the little circle. I can just hit the center of that. Uh, lockdown finishes on Wednesday here. Possibly. 
possibly. But uh, making the most of it as much as we can. Ah, CBF, yeah, I tell you what, the CBF is strong. Uh, lockdown in this area requires us to wear masks outdoors and indoors. If we're exercising, which is limited to two hours a day within five kilometers of your own home, then you don't need to wear a mask. I think if you can social distance too, you don't need a mask, but retail shut. Hey buddy, how you doing? You good? Wanna come say hello? Hello, got a visitor. Very big ride. Just watch the bike behind you, everyone. On your elbows. Come say good day, Maxie. Oh, shoes off. Yes, mate. So much has been for a ride around the block. Oh, we've got We've gone for an extended ride today, have we, Maxwell? Good job, buddy. Blue skydiver, how are we doing? Hey, Max, come say good day. Come on. Still got about four minutes of warm up. Come here, buddy. Come here. You got to lose your I can't move. Come here, buddy. Here we go. Can you pedal for me? Pedal. Come on, get these going. Go, 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 go. Pedal, Max. Pedal, Max. Go, go, go. You're not contributing. <laughs> you are not contributing. All right, see you later, baby. Put the tin. Bye, Max. Say bye, Max. Bye-bye. You gotta pull your weight. You gotta come for a ride, mate. And no good in a breakaway that kid. Swinging elbows, you just dead legs it. <laughs> He is, if he was in the back of the tandem, he'd be, he would have his legs up. What a slacker. <laughs> He's probably tired actually, He's just gone for a ride around the block. All right, let's get the second fan on. Whoa. <laughs> are you back, are you? Oh, wow. Can't keep a, can't keep a good max out, can we? No? No? Nope. How about we get your mama to close the door? Or can you do it on the way out? See ya. Bye. See you later. Oh, hello. Be careful with erg mode and kids. Yeah. Yeah, let's go and get some snacks. Thank you. Oh, we've dropped the bunch. That's where smart bikes come in handy if they're all enclosed. Stops little fingers from getting in places they shouldn't. So again, welcome along to the stream. Just a standard workout. I usually don't stream my personal workouts, but it's Sunday. We're in lockdown. Why not? <laughs> Fix my Wi-Fi issues from yesterday. The lesson there is make sure I'm on 5G, not 2.4. Although 2.4 Wi-Fi absolutely has enough bandwidth for what I need. It just doesn't like it at all. All right, back on the bunch. <clears throat> That's screen real estate. It takes up weight. So there's a beautiful waterfall that we just can't see. See the size of that white box? Why is it taking up over a quarter of the screen at the top there? <clears throat> Do not use microwaves. See, look at that. It's a whole different experience. 
than being spammed with that. All of that on screen, look at that. And it's an all or nothing. So this looks cool. We can see dinosaurs, trees. I think this used to be... I mean, it wouldn't take much for them to make a customizable heads-up display. I mean, it's all in there in the app anyway, look at that. Except for Gradient. I don't think the, hums, oh, the thumbs are hidden. No, they're not. Such a massive difference. You just get that closed in effect. Swift 2.0. I really hope they're working on Swift 2.0. They've been very quiet with updates. Very quiet. Uh, choice of saddle, good one. Um, I've gone through lots of TT saddles. That's different to road though. So there's always a quest of searching for the perfect saddle. And I think a quest that never ends. One that I've stuck with for a long time now is the specialized power saddle. That shape, which is the same as the Kdex Boost which is also the same as what comes on the Stages bike, which is also the same as the Pro Logo Dimension, which is what I'm on now, which you can't see, because my butt's in the way. Uh, leaning more towards the Pro Logo Dimension, it's a little softer than the Kdex and the um, Specialized Power Saddle. And for indoors, that kind of helps. Outdoors, I don't mind a harder saddle. You sort of get used to it after a while. Anything too soft though, some people get saddle sores. Because something that's too soft, your sit bones will move too much. So there's a fine balance between how thick your sit bone skin is, I guess. Your weight, saddle width, there's obviously there's a whole science behind it. But I found at the moment with all my measurements and the riding that I'm doing, yeah, the Pro Logo Dimension, I think it's called the Dimension. I can't tell. It's got written on there somewhere. Oh, it's working well for me. There is a bit of flex, I'm on the kicker five. A bit of flex indoors through the bike and the feet and the flooring. There's also a bit of squish too. Um, but the best way to find out is most saddles have a, a budget or an entry level and a higher end. So if you're still searching for saddles, buy the entry level budget one, which is usually around half the price of the top end. Grab the one with just standard steel rails or alloy rails or whatever they have rather than going the full carbon. See if that suits you, see if the shape suits you, see if the padding suits you. If that's all good and you really like the saddle and you want to spend even more money, <laughs> then do the upgrade to the premium version. Now this one, oh, I went the premium straight away, it was pretty cheap. I think it was under $200 Australian. Entry-level road bike, especially in Australia, you really can't go past Giant. They import a ton of bikes. Their distribution network is quite large in Australia. Um, I'm, when I'm looking at new bikes, Giant's usually the one I select to buy with my own money because, uh, yeah, the, the, it's a pretty good package. I mean, if you want to order online, Canyon probably have some good bargains, but then you've, you're buying direct from the uh, manufacturer. Ride's going well. 
I'm just delaying getting into erg mode because I know it hurts. Uh, 250 to 300 for a second hand bolt in pristine condition? No, low ball. Uh, 250 is probably not too bad, but the bolt's been uh, superseded by the bolt. And <laughs> the bolt replaces the bolt, so the bolt 2 is out. Um, and it is a, a different, in a different league to the bolt 1 when it comes to mapping and navigation. I think the bolt in Australia here was down to 360 new for the last few months. Oh, so you're selling, not buying. I thought you were looking at buying. <laughs> in that case, put it up for 345 <laughs> and say it's cheaper than retail. <laughs> what should you be happy with? 250 would be a good price. I think it'll sell for 250. Don't take any low ball offers under 250 though. Sit on that for a while. Oh, it's Coco. Oh, it's still going. Giant creeping up the price points. Yeah. Vincent, you run a specialized power. Okay. Now, Vincent, did you go the 143 or the 155 with? And whichever width you went, did you do the sit down, measure your sit bones? Or do you kind of know your measurements and just chose the right one? Mrs. Lama runs the 155. 143, yeah. I think most dudes can get away with 143. Ride-ons for you. Is that car? Yes, yeah, Cara Cadence. Ride-ons. It'll always be Coco, Coco. Good evening, Toronto. Go Zwift in the house. Hey, go Zwift. Do we want to go through my list of 100 things you've got to fix? <laughs> I've been uh, collating a whole list of things. They're just little tiny things. I'm like, oh, why does it say dash dash here and zero here? And why is, okay, so here's one. You see on the map, on the, uh, on the phone, there's a little direction to say which way north is. Cool, it's not in game. So they need a north direction in game. Little things. I've been given the opportunity to sit down and have a conference call with Zwift uh, in the coming week to go through my list of 100 things. So maybe, just maybe I can have some influence on the game. We'll see. Uh, wide connection to the Kicker Direct Connect is on the list too, yes. For sure. I think we have Paris on the menu today. So if anybody wants to go roll around the Champs Elysees with those cobbles, they can. And hopefully, fingers crossed, can we write the script right here? Can Cav win tonight? Can we just give Cav the win? Well, not give it to him. Can he just... That would be so good to see. <laughs> Shane offers up to 100 things. Zwift changes one. As long as it's not negative one, as long as my kicker bike steering works in the next update. I hate stepping backwards. <laughs> Feel like blowing an NDA with Favero? Nope. But I got about two days of filming to do on a certain subject. I'll give you the heads up. Just wait. Just wait. If something's too good to be true. You know what they say. Who chooses my background music? The law. The law chooses my background music. It's me. I've just got a ton of free to free to use music off YouTube that I don't get pinged for. If I was to use popular music, um, the channel pretty much gets uh, 
a smack on the wrist, you get enough of those, you get taken off YouTube. I do apologize for the music. I can turn it down a little bit if you're gonna listen to me banter and breathe a little heavier in erg. There we go, just knock that back. I've gotta have something playing, it's just too dead otherwise. Although I can fill in the gaps by talking non-stop. If you've watched any of my streams, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Stay tuned, Kevin. Stay tuned. How many NDAs have dates written in grey lead pencil to allow for alterations? Uh, yes, music on the road. Yep, well, mostly podcasts. Not at an obnoxiously high level, just so I can hear it. And with the radar of the RTL 515, I have the Bluetooth app loaded, so if there's anything coming behind me, I also get alerted. Some people will trigger that some cyclists listen to music on the road. I think it's, a, it's one of those choose your own adventures, accept your own responsibilities. My road awareness is usually pretty good. So I'm okay with that. In the city, no. Coming out to intersections, I'm usually wearing the wide ones, you'll just pop out an ear. Excellent, Kevin's on a 2T. Wonder what they'll do next. Garmin have sat on the 2T for a while, haven't they? It's ahead of its time, it always has been the Neo, so. to have personal segment PBs last longer than one month. I'd say even better, have a, some way of you know, your, your all-time PBs. Plus also your rolling month PBs in game somewhere. That'd be handy. After a while, all-time PBs are just not reachable anymore. I mean, there's only a certain point where we can get to physiologically. And then we'll either decline or get older or lose a bit of motivation. So, and it also can be demotivating looking at those PBs and never hitting them again, but having the rolling 30 days, nice. I was better than last month. That's all good. All right, let's get this erg mode session underway. I've delayed long enough. I'm warm enough. Au revoir, Coco Bunch. Whew. Aftershocks, yeah, there's a a lot of YouTubers are doing headphones. It's really, really hard to review headphones because you can't reach out and put them in people's ears and say, listen to this. You can give the whole, oh, it sounds all right. It's like, what's the feel of a trainer? It, unless you know, otherwise it's, although, you know, pedaling through, I sort of give it the, you know, pedaling on grass, on uphill or in sticky mud, or, you know, you can, you never really know until you experience it. So headphones are a hard one. I've purchased tons of headphones, but never got around to doing reviews because it's just like, meh, it's not, there's no really easy way to quantify it. Um, what I use in here is the <coughs> iPad, iPad, iPod Pros, AirPod, AirPod, <laughs> I'll get my words correct. AirPod Pros in here. Um, but out in the road, I use the wide ones that I want something flipping out of my ear. Alrighty. And I listen to mostly tech podcasts, nothing cycling. I live and breathe cycling everywhere else if I'm awake, but last thing I need is more cycling content whilst I'm cycling. So it's over to the tech side of things, which has a lot of crossover with what we do. Yeah, some people really trigger on the headphones and the cycling thing. Typically the people who don't ride bikes or don't have good situational awareness. And that's okay. That's okay. But the amount of drivers who drive around with their windows up in silent cars. Yeah. 
Uh, tech news today. Is it the tech news? The daily tech news. Daily tech news by uh, Tom Merritt. I listen to. Used to be on the Twit Network with Leo Laporte. Uh, Tom does great stuff since going independent. <sighs> Let's get this done. What are we set to? Okay, so I set my FTP here. It's 375. It's what I, My FTP test the other week was 319. It's nowhere near 375. But given I keep changing the zones, I need these to be more dynamic. So I use the FTP setting. Set that 375. I can go up and down, I think, from 250 to 300 in each of these. I'd love it to be more dynamic and have maybe an 80% or a 20% either way bias. Where are all these Aussies coming from? <laughs> Maxie's at the door going, Dada, where are you? I'm in here, buddy. Hey, mate, you're riding too? Yeah. Good, good to see you, mate. Watch your head. Thanks for coming along, mate. You're going, I oh, know you got an hour. I don't know. Aftershocks. Yeah, a lot of people have commented on aftershocks or reviewed those. Are they the over the ear ones? I find the AirPod Pros pop out in sprints if I'm going the full mongrel with the sprint. Yeah, half the country's locked down. Yep. All right, we're in the right gear. Have a look at Max. All good? Yeah? Okay. Bye bye. See you later. Bye, mate. All right. I'm trying not to have a massive catastrophe of everything falling over. Yeah, see you, mate. See you later. Okay, cool. Thank you. Everyone's on a video on Aftershocks, I think. Gravel bike, good stuff. What did you go with? Let me know. Always happy to share in someone's joy of new bike day. What you've chosen, what group set, gearing, tires. Let us know the details. We all love new bike day. <sighs> Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Checkpoint, okay, so that has the, the fuel zillage, does it? They call that the, well, the internal storage area. Now I can't hear my music. I need something to listen to. Oh, you have a subscriber. Thank you. York Brick, welcome along. <clears throat> yeah, lockdown. Parts of Australia. Buying a bike from a smaller local brand. Any smaller local brands are boutique custom bikes. And unfortunately, my degree in dentistry was never started. They're very expensive. I'm more than happy for now to be on just standard giants, specialized. Maybe as I get older and appreciate the finer things. <laughs> I look at a custom bike. Not for now. They're just tools for now. The most impressive piece of bike tech with the Vario radar has got to be close. That changes the ride. That changes how you feel out in the road. Look, a new bike is good. New wheels are nice. A new power meter, well, power meters haven't changed much. The sad part about power meters is they impress me when they work. And that's not often. 
Stay tuned for more. I shouldn't be impressed by a power meter if it's accurate. It should be freaking accurate. Um, a bike should ride well. That's what it does. Sidewalls shouldn't slice when riding over normal ground. Uh, the things that make me go wow, technology that I have finished a ride and the first thing I did is purchase my wife one. It's the radar. That's from my riding on the roads that I'm on. And that's long open country roads, very little inner city riding. I appreciate they're not for everyone, but clearly they work. Looping back to power meters that work. The Asiomas, obviously. And don't take my word for it. If you go look at any of the forum feedback, reviews, everyone sings the same song. That's good. But that's what they sell. Whew. Joe, there's no sun to send. Seven degrees, mostly cloudy. 11 a.m. Power to max. Another power meter that's impressed me. <clears throat> Quark are a silent achiever. Smart trainers originally impressed me, but we're six years on. What next? Smart bikes are interesting, but stunted. Smart bikes are where things should have been three years ago, four years ago. The integration's lacking. Is there a, an experience improvement over using a smart bike? Not really, only the gearing. Timmy got three quarks, yeah. Oh. All right. One down, I think I spoke all the way through that. Let's get it off and just ride this in incline. And the feedback I'm getting there in chat. See, if I can have an opinion on something or I can have some results on something, but what means more is seeing that kind of chat backing up my experience. We saw this week the Jet Black Vault I did my review back in January and Ray did his review the other day after you can get a hold of everything. Same deal. It's quite impressive for what it is. They do something really interesting with heart rate, given that the trainer will pair to your heart rate and then send that over the one single Bluetooth connection. Very, very handy if you're on Apple TV. The road you hate, FSA power box on your bike because you like running SPD pedals, mate. Keep that set up, keep that set up. It's a good one. <laughs> no sprints. <laughs> Need another bike to get a fourth quark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of checking to see if this rival axis quark fits on the uh, the SRAM Red SRAM Red One quark that I have, the quark spider. Okay, so question for the chat and anybody watching who hasn't chatted yet, jump in. I want to know the answer on this one. Uh, and there's a reason for this that you'll will become apparent soon. How important is Q factor? or stance width, Q factor is the space between the crank, outside of the crank and the outside of the crank. Stance width is where your feet are. How important is that for you on road bikes? On road bikes in particular. If you put a new set of shoes on and your cleats are a little bit out, do you notice? Um, just let me know how sensitive people are to Q factor or stance width change 
which effectively changes your bike fit setup. I'm really keen to have a, a longer discussion on this one through my next interval, which I need to start now. What do we go? Let's go up a little bit. 280. 285, let's make me work for it. Very little, never really noticed. But have you changed Q factor to be able to notice? Of course, there's, there's Q factor or sense with differences between mountain and road. Yep. Uh, that roadie, what was the difference? Was it five mil or more? Andre, you use uh, pedal spaces. Okay, yep. That's a valid use case that I've seen from bike fitters. Different length cranks. Hamburglar, what was the change? If you're talking from 1725 to 175, if you're doing one jump, what about two jumps? X Factor. Okay. So the people who won't notice Q factor changes, I think would be the taller riders, wider hips, bigger feet, six foot and above, I'm thinking. Uh, mountain bike riders who are probably out of the saddle, riding more dynamically, uh, who also have a larger Q factor on their bikes, what, for stability, I think. And for people like Andre who need the pedal extenders for fit reasons. You're far from tall. <laughs> Interesting. I notice. I notice it a lot, any more than a few mil each side. More on this soon. <laughs> so the old slipping seat post. That's the the unintended dropper post. I do use insoles with arch support, yes. Ah, uh, rat boy. I missed it. Oh, your chain, chain wheels out quicker indoors on the kicker than outside. It should be the other way around. Two things to check. But the obvious, are you running the right chain? 10 speed, 10 speed, 11, 11, or 12, 12. If you're running any other combo, that could be a problem. Next, are you wearing, are you using a, a new cassette and a new chain, or a new chick chain and an old cassette on the kicker? If there's a mismatch, there'll be a mishmash. The Bont Moldable Insole, haven't seen them. I'm in some Bonts right now though. I haven't seen their insole. <clears throat> I hope they've got something to do with the insole because of my review of these Bonts, which I never heard back from Bont on. I don't think they're too happy about it. I'm a reviewer. Um, they come with cardboard insoles, junk insoles, and most shoes do. 
in the new specialized mountain bike shoes I picked up, junk insoles. Why a $500 plus shoe can't come with the choice of insoles is amazing. Especially when the company sells three different types of insoles to choose. Oh, the molding process in general doesn't do much for the insole. It's more around the upper. Whew. What was that, 285? That wasn't bad, I can still talk through that one. My bonds were a bit floaty before I cooked them in the oven. Oh, the G8s are fantastic. If I could justify buying them for all shoes, I would. I have one set of G8s. I've gone the cheaper option with the specialized blue insoles for the rest, which are good enough to get me through. But the G8s, when I put those shoes on, they're nice. Two down. I should really customize this workout just to go back to free ride mode for the recovery. I have no interest in setting certain target zones for recovery. You're either working or you're not. <laughs> in these sections, I switch it back to incline mode because I don't care. I do keep an eye on the heart rate. You can see it dropping down. I could probably start my interval now. Indicates I'm recovered. It's taking about a minute for my heart rate to get back to recovery pace. Yeah, I'd love to see new shoes come with, like any level shoe, just come with the option. Small, medium, large, arch support, simple as that. Wouldn't take them much. I mean, they make shoes in different sizes. That's a massive cost to do different, uh, different size beds and uppers and the whole works. So it would cost companies nothing, next to nothing, to give people the option. Although it does become a little bit trickier with shipping. I guess it's like shipping smart trainers with the right cassette body now. People have got Shimano, Campag, SRAM, XD, XDR, three options. Hey Jeff, welcome along. Back into ERG. What do we go for this time? We've got to switch back to ERG mode. We'll try hit 300. Let's go. Wasn't hitting 300 the other day. I'll talk less and less as the power goes up. Yeah, so wide and standard fit for shoes. Why no arch support options? Yeah, never put up with numb feet. Never put up with numb feet. Eleven AM <clears throat> right here. Yeah, five by five is a good session. Twenty five minutes. That sweet spot. Or at threshold. Or even over threshold. Look at those shadows. Jesus. That's been happening since the last update. You really think they'd they'd patch that. My handlebars. Christ. New balance. Why is my frame ahead of me? Working now.
three power meters, all holding hands. I like it. No disagreements. Ben O'Connor holding fourth at the tour. Good to see. Who's going to win tonight? What happened to my frame rate? Crikey. Okay, we're back. I'm hoping a Cav win. That'd be brilliant. But I think it's probably wanted too much. <laughs> Thanks for the support, Jeff. I appreciate it. Yes, we do. We do get snow in Ballarat. Last year we had two hours of snow. Really, does it settle? Only every few years. Last year was a good one. It dumped. <laughs> Whew, alrighty. Popping out of egg, just to recover at whatever pace. I think I'll get the next one at 300, then we'll drop the last one down. That's a bit of motivation for me to actually do it rather than pulling the pin. <laughs> it's not really enough to burn the legs. Just become just sustainably uncomfortable. If that's a thing. It's going to be interesting to go back through these sessions, which I've been doing for probably six weeks now, and just check my heart rate across the different zones over different days over those weeks to see if I'm actually improving or it's just my tolerance to the, the pain and being a little uncomfortable. Early on when you first get stuck into intervals, they're uncomfortable. Usually you can push yourself through them, but it's a mental game of just not being, like you've, you've got to be uncomfortable, That's, there's no question. And sometimes um, it's easy to pull the pair to go, I'm not fit enough. But looking at the heart rate and power, you can, Usually get a good indication of, okay, I really was working hard through those. Uh, scribe wheels, yeah. Coming soon. It's hard to review wheels as soon as you pull them out of a box. There's no, other than the technical specifications, I need a few Ks on them first. Uh, the hunt wheels, I'd like to get a review first, the 4050s that have been on the bike for over a year. But it's, I think I've said a couple of weeks ago, it's difficult to review wheels. Oh, we already there, 240, jeez. You can't review braking performance of a wheel because they don't brake anymore. You can't really pre perform, like, how do they roll? These bearings are usually all of a pretty good level. Um, you can, you've got to cover the tech specs, the weight, 
you know, do they meet the specifications? Uh, the free hub options, free hub sound, engagement. <clears throat> and you'll know if a wheel is uh, soft, I guess you'd call it. Uh, but the early take on the scribe wheels, I'm impressed. I really am. I kick a bike and I want to kick a five. <sighs> on my gravel bike. Which is nice and comfortable indoors. Uh, Jeff, the rest between sets depends. When you first start out, I leave it at the five. And traditionally, as the closer I get to a competition, back when I was racing, I'd reduce that five minute rest down to four, three, two, down to one minute. <clears throat> so rather than increasing power, you reduce the recovery, which simulates, I guess the demands of out on the road. There's always going to be coasting or corners. Uh, watch up your hilly. Here's a good route. All right, we're dropping the last one down. The mink was at 160,000 Ks on Zwift. Single-sided quark axis is going very well. Very, very well. Review coming soon. I just got to hear back from SRAM on a few questions. I'd happily run it on my gravel bike. Not many people with anchor till. Here's the finish. <laughs>
Oh, that's unpleasant. <laughs> Another thing I like to see is, and you'll see it happening right now, when I scale my watts up and down here, it scales the previous uh, blocks that I've already done. Why is Zwift changing history? I get it, that's the easy way to do it. But ideally, that should represent what I've done and what I did in those sections regardless of me chickening out and dropping this right down like right now 250 last one yeah let's roll this last one in at 250 but now my tss for the ride within zwift pizza score and all that is now calculated based on this so a hot tip if you're finishing a workout stick it up to 110 percent if you want to over inflate the numbers for your tss in game that is it won't affect Strava or Training Peaks or anything. They work on their own settings for FTP. And what that means. But you don't get the credit on screen for any. Uh... Yeah, when you do. I did 300 for two intervals, damn it. It's saying 250 now. I don't know. The, the, the data is the data though. It's recorded. It'd be nice just to have it consistent. Oh, well, the 1030 plus isn't a cheap unit. You're buying the flagship Garmin Edge. All right, one more to go. We might even finish this session before Maxi uh, has his afternoon nap. Two fifty. I know, I know, two fifty. I'm tired. It's better than doing nothing. And skipping it all together. Call it a cool down block. Let's let's be happy with that cool down. <clears throat> oh the Mandela ride. Oh, it's I saw that, what was that, 66 Ks or something? No, I didn't catch it. Ah, 67 minutes. I'm almost there. Comfy saddle. Oh, go see a, a good bike store. They'll fit you up for your sit bone width and should have some test saddles. I know specialized stores have test saddles. They should be able to fit you up, but it's horses for courses. Oh, this is much better than 300. Whew. Oh, this is much better. I should do all my intervals at 250.
Ah, good stuff. The 1030 plus is a good unit. Yep. <laughs> it's recording right now. Max already has a few bikes. A little three-wheeler trike. A little wooden three-wheeler for outside. And also a cruisy two-wheeler, which is around 130 bucks and still lighter than the specialized one. Yeah, Jeff, the Athos bike in game and there's Rover wheels. I have it on the inside word that they are the fastest climbing combo. Full disclosure, Specialized R Investor are an investor in Zwift. So they now have the fastest bike in game. That's how business works. Done. 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 <clears throat> 275, 285, 300, 300, 250. Cool down and cruise. So I think with that specialized climbing challenge, you get, you're get you equipped with that bike for the effort, for the event, and then you can go buy it in store. But does that mean it's not in store until the 20th? Or is it in store now? Bridgestone bikes for the Olympics. Yes, that was a good one. Easy ones to tick off. I don't think you get to keep the specialized bike after those challenges. I think it's just a teaser. Let's have a quick look in the store to see if that bike is there. Is it the Athos? Let's have a quick look. So we, we can't go shopping until we stop. That's kind of weird. I'd like to, it's on my list of things that I, uh, where are we specialized? Haven't got the epic. Venge me. Okay, so it's not in shop yet. So I'm keen to know when it's actually gonna be in game. So they said the 20th, so that's, that's two days from now. If it's not in game, are they gonna to have to unlock it as part of what we've already downloaded to the game or push out as a Rift update? I suspect there'll be a Zwift update coming very soon. <laughs> Only unlock kit, okay. Geez, they're giving away kits for nothing, aren't they? There used to be quite a big restriction put on kits because we're in Zwift. Everyone was always asking to get their kit in game and then we kept being told that no, it's never gonna happen because space limitations or size limitations of the game, they couldn't put more kits in. But it now appears that there are more kits than ever getting put in game. Uh, the Dancing Shadows, yeah. Uh, to be honest, any software house should have fixed that with a, with a out of band patch. Within, as soon as it's fixed, that should have been a priority those shadows dancing around for the last month. You don't see that in any other game. There needs to be a few different streams. I get it that they don't want to push things out across all platforms. There needs to be a little bit better way to 
address introduced bugs. I expect a lot. All right, where do we go from here? That's that's the question. We'll go for another K or two just to cool the legs down. And we are done. That's a workout done for the day. Hey, Tim Cell, right on. I have mega pretzel to do. I'm tempted to schedule that in. What's mega pretzel? 107 kilometers? There's no major climbs, oh, there's the epic com, but there's no vent top or belt the Zwift in that. Have a look at the Swift Hub. Yeah, so Mega Pretzel. Epic Com. Volcano, Epic Com Reverse. And Swift Com Reverse. 107 kilometers. Uber Pretzel. Finishes with Elpta Swift. Oh, that's going to be a tough one. We'll see how lockdown goes. If lockdown continues on this week and we can't get any more than 5Ks from home or retail doesn't open, we can't go shopping. We'll be spending more time live streaming. Favorite Swift route? Uh, Watopia Hilly, what's an original route? Titans Grove's a bit of fun. Uh, I don't, yeah, Watopia well, Hilly's a good one. I know that back to front. Thank you, Buddha Hats. Thank you for subscribing. All right, 11.33 a.m. It's lunchtime, or very close to it. I can justify an early lunch after a ride. Least favorite world? New York. I can never work out where I'm going in New York. It's up and down and around and around. No rhythm. There's also Bologna, which we can never get to. To the vent only world. Paris is too short to be a world just for itself. I think the, the numbers tell which worlds are popular and which aren't. When you first load Zwift, those three tabs along the top, they need to do away with telling us where we can ride and where we can't. Gone are the days where there's nobody on. Should be just a checkbox along the top, little icons, click the world you want, select the route and go. Make it easy. I see Zwift open sourcing nothing, nothing at all. Let's be brutally honest, they've shut down their API, they shut down people using third party tools. They're, they're a privately owned company with investors they have to uh, obviously return the money to one day. Repack Ridge is getting next to nothing. As I said on my other stream, if you jump on um, Strava, you can see who set the times on the segments. And I think there's around 6,000 people riding up each side of Titans Grove. But take the Titans Grove forward, I think they call it that reverse, where the mountain bike course goes off. 6,000 people go up that climb. There were 30 who had chosen to do Repack Ridge in the same time period, 30. All right, what I'm gonna do here is pop over the top of this and we'll get an extra free kilometer cruising down into the desert. <clears throat> I could stop just here, but I know there's free, free kilometers. <laughs> so I think Repack Ridge is a bit of a failed experiment. You should have a spawn point 
from the main menu. Hey, do you want to jump on Zwift and go for a mountain bike ride today? Sure. Yep, cool. Click that. It equips you with the mountain bike. It drops you to Repack Ridge at the start without having to ride through Titans. And it should also be a circular loop. So you can continue to just do the mountain bike course. What they're doing at the moment is they're forcing you to be a roadie. You get to dabble on the dirt and then they throw you back out on the road. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's been in, Repack Ridge has been around for probably I'd say near on two years now. Which I think gives indication on how much they're focusing on off-road or gravel or mountain. It's just not there. Uh, no updates in the rally, sorry, no. Uh, I'm still having issues that are unresolved with, they're specific to me and my testing. Indoors, fine, outdoors, lower wattage, that's all cool. If I rip a big sprint of around 1200 watts, one of the pedals will hold onto what I call residual torque and either over report or is it under report? I can't. It changes things after a sprint. If I stop and do a manual zero, everything's fixed. And it's not a betting in process because I've done hundreds and hundreds of Ks on them and lots and lots of sprints. The answer from Garmin at the moment is still, ah, oh, it's, a, it's a betting in thing. I can't do any more. They have my data, they have my, how I can reproduce the issue. Um, thanks, Jeff. Thanks for joining in. And it's an issue that I don't see with other pedals. So there's only so many times I can hit my head up against the same crank and come out with the same result. So that's where things are at with those. I could use them for low speed stuff. Maybe the Llama Lad test. As long as I do a zero after the sprint, that's all good. For the majority of riders, they're probably fine. But I can reproduce that issue where I'm really cranking out the watts and one of the pedals just reports differently. Power meters are hard. Power meters are hard even for the experienced power meter companies. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I don't know, I, I can't give them my tick of approval, that's about all. Other people can, other people will be happy with them. For what I do in my testing protocols, I want things to put just to just to pass my testing protocols and they don't for my specific use case there. Um, I'd like another set to try, but that hasn't been offered to me, so. Don't know. I haven't tried the conversion yet over to the SPD pedals. I have the conversion kit. I haven't swapped, swapped them over. I may do that. Uh, it's not a, it's a new lockdown, a continuation of lockdown. Yeah. Same, same. All right, we'll bank those extra Ks down that hill. Call it a day in 100 meters, 42 Ks of the day. It's been a good one. And back to work now. Lunch, then work. Uh, tomorrow, should see another all going to plan, there should be two videos out tomorrow. My time. We'll see. And that can change very quickly. Ah. Uh, never been to British Columbia, no. Doesn't look like I'll be there anytime soon either. Uh, Favero. Yeah, I'd like to see Favero bring out a mountain bike pedal for sure. Um, they would definitely need, for a commercial product from Favero, they, they will need to redesign the pod because that can get in the way of um, both, yeah, uh, rock damage, clipping the pedal or clipping the, the crank on rocks and things. I'm just looking down at the pod. Um, and also having the pod so close to the crank, if you're running through grass and things, I've noticed the grass gets caught between that little tiny gap. So that's not ideal either. If you get rocks and stones and things in there that press up against both the pod and the crank, potentially your power readings will be different because it's, yeah, the bend will be a bit different in the pedal. So stay tuned, stay tuned. Um, yeah, more videos coming. Um, that's me done for the day, right on. Oh, I missed it.
off for lunch, off for work, and uh, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There'll be two videos coming out. If everything goes to plan, uh, these things are out of my control. I can make the content, but whether the product actually is released or not, we'll see. But uh, thanks for the company, and uh, enjoy your workout. And if you're in lockdown, uh, enjoy your case. Um, we'll be out of this soon, I think. All right, we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining.